Good afternoon reception. So today's story time, I am going to be reading a story about two little children called Hansel and Gretel. Now I'm really excited about this story because I love the house made out of sweets, but it is not as sweet as it seems. I'm excited to read this story. I hope you are too. Are you sitting comfortably? Then I think we are ready to begin. Crammed into a house with no room to spare lived Dad Hansel Gretel and their stepmother Claire. They were all so hungry with nothing to eat except for brown bread, their one special treat. One day Claire told Dad what she would do. I'll go to the woods and get rid of those two. She marched to the woods with the children behind but Gretel left breadcrumbs for them to find. Oh, that doesn't seem very kind of the stepmother, does it? Then Claire crept away and they filled up with dread. They looked for the crumbs but found birds instead. Oh, the birds have eaten their breadcrumbs so they can't find their way home. Poor Hansel cried out, we'll both starve out here. He shivered and shook and whimpered with fear. But then through the trees they spied something sweet. A gingerbread house all covered in treats. <gasps> Wouldn't you just love to find this house? It would be so yummy. I think I would eat it all up. They chomped on the roof and chewed at the floor. They munched on the chimney and wolfed down the door. Mm, yum, yum, yum. Then out came a witch. So ugly and green. Then when Hansel saw her, he let out a scream. Oh, don't be a wimp, said Gretel in shock. He said, but she's gross and smells like a sock. Ugh. You've ruined my house, said the witch, feeling sad. My face may be ugly, but at least I'm not bad. I spent my life baking, it was my one dream, to live in a house all covered in cream. Oh. The children felt guilty, for mean she was not. As the witch ran inside, they worked up a plot. Oh, they're going to fix the house, do you think? They nibbled the roof and chomped at the wall. They guzzled and gulped till the castle stood tall. Oh, look at that castle. Then out came the witch and they worked as a team. It needs just one thing, swells of whipped cream. Mmm, yummy. When it was finished, the three made amends and all lived together in the castle as friends. Oh, what a lovely story. Oh, I'm so glad that Hansel and Gretel found a home where they wouldn't be hungry anymore. How lovely and it is the most amazing house. I hope you enjoyed this story just as much as I did. I will be back tomorrow with more story time so I'll see you then. Adios everyone. Bye.